<laughs> Not this. Look, I had to grab something. Hey, you made it work. That's all that matters. But, uh, oh boy, hello. Welcome to The Cup TV, the currently unnamed podcast where we put the real and tea in reality. And you can always come to us for to quench your thirst. I'm Logan Murphy, say something gay. Gay, I am drinking a strawberry peach caffeinated concoction today. Not sponsored by any of the brands I'm using, but Crystal Light, hey. <laughs> That's all. Um, but if I was drinking out of anything else, potentially a smaller vessel to drink out of, of course, obviously, hello, it would be a cup mug. Duh. And my lights aren't working. Yay! Woo! Well, Things have been a fucking wreck. We're a disaster! We may be a mess today, but you know... But you know what's not a mess? The cup mug. She's indestructible. We haven't tested that. She's dishwasher safe. We have tested that. Um, she is microwave safe. I think I've tested that. I believe I've also tested that, and I believe that's true. But do not come to us if she you is have great. Problems. She is great if you have a small amount of liquid that you want to drink. And you could get yours and all of our other stuff at lanagecreation.etsy.com. Link in the description below. We do ship in, uh, domestically within North America currently. International shipping, we're still working on it, so there are some excuses. Per. Ah, and my name is Jack. Uh, I am the resident game designer of the panel whenever someone will fucking hire me. Um, and uh, I cannot wait to get into the several uh, the severalith episode, uh, making up a several pre-jury, mm -hmm. and also the severalith vote out. I'm trying to think of other ways that I can use the word several throughout this entire episode. It's episode several! Yay! Yay! Uh, did you I see that it. thing? Did you see the thing that Which Rob one? put out? No, I didn't. Uh, with this amount of several talk, there's almost no possible way that Jelensky doesn't come back for Survivor 40 several. <laughs> no! <laughs> You're Look, so right, though. Like, it's that's so great. Oh, no. And maybe this time he'll get... Uh, Several teams. Several. Yeah. He'll go out several if um with a several to zero vote. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Could you imagine if he went out with several votes? Horrible. Or he got several Horrible. votes to win. God forbid. <laughs> God forbid they let Jalinski make final tribal council. <laughs> If he wins with fucking several, I I would I would lose several my several to two to zero. Anyway, we're talking anyway. about episode several, aka episode seven. Um, our st our studio right now is also called episode several. Um, it makes me very happy inside. I did that. Um, but we're gonna talk about several things in this episode because several many things happened. Uh, this episode was a trip. Yeah, I mean, I would say that this at least is the most interesting uh, split tribal that split yeah. group that we've had uh, by a long shot. Am I still happy it's completely random? No. Does it absolutely screw people over for no reason? Yes. Did we see why in this episode it doesn't necessarily screw people over? Yes. And I think is it is... completely random? Uh, we'll talk I mean, we about never it. saw them draw rocks. We'll talk about it. But before we do, make sure to subscribe if you've not already, because we are here almost all the time giving you almost all things reality TV. Make sure to go check out uh, the description below where we have all three of our other channels, our membership channel, and our Patreon. Go check those things out. 
I'm trying to streamline the intro because we've got several things to talk about. So, so many we come back things. from the mergatory vote where Mariah was voted out. Um, and Venus got a mm-hmm. vote. And she is dead set on the fact that it's Vita or the fact that uh, it's Soda. And she tells Soda, she's like, well, it literally has to be you. And Soda's obviously like, well, it's not me. So they walk off into the night to go get water and they're still fighting. And Tevin is, Tevin, we get a lovely moment from Tevin being like, they're just going to keep going at, at each other. And hey, I'm just going to sit back and watch. Not my problem. And so after the fighting had happened, Venus is laying down and Charlie goes, "Um, hey, Venus, I just wanted to let you know um, I was the vote against you. And this spins us into a tale. We don't hear what Venus has to say about this situation. Instead, what we hear is Q Q? being like Q and I quote saying, I need to put Charlie in his place. I don't like that. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not off the Q train. I jumped off the Q train here. I jumped off the Q train on drag race. I'm good. Q's, I don't need them. I'm good. I was like. The, and we'll talk about the way he talked to Tiffany and Kenzie in this episode. I'm not about it. I, honest to God, I, I think if they had had more time before Tribal, conspiracy theory, I feel like Tiff and Kenzie would have uh, flipped the vote and voted out Q. I honestly thought yeah. something like that was coming. Uh, I can easily see the cracks begin to form uh, where... Yeah. I mean, that Yanu 3 is looking more and more like it's going to become yeah. either a Yanu, Yanu 2. 2 or not exist. I don't think it's going to not exist. I honestly think, given the edit we're getting, I think the one person that's getting a winner at it more than a lot of other people, there's a couple people that are getting a good winner at it, but I think Kenzie's getting a gorgeous winner's at it right now. Yeah. I think Kenzie is. I think Maria is. Um, Charlie, to a degree, is getting a decent uh-huh. winners at it. Um, I I feel Hunter, pretty confident. Yeah. I I feel pretty confident right now in saying I think a woman is winning this season. A woman or Charlie? Yeah, that's uh, kind I of can... where I'm gonna land. I can see Hunter of like, oh, he just beats the way out. He wins. Uh, but I, th- I, I think he I, fucks I, up once and he's done. 100%. I feel like, I think it's going to be a woman and two men at Final Tribal. And that woman is going to smoke the men that she's up against. And I honestly think it could be a combination of several people. But let's talk more about that at the end of the episode. Um, because I do wanna I do wanna get into that a little bit because I'm excited about I'm excited this season, loving, loving this season. I'm 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 really there are several people that I'm really, really enjoying throughout this whole cast. Uh Q, not one of them anymore, unfortunately. Um, but we go from Q putting Charlie in his place to a very sweet moment where Ben wakes up in the middle of the night having a panic attack. And we see Liz kind of helping him, but Kenzie is really the one that, you know, sits with him, make sure, makes sure he's okay. I did notice as we're going through this sequence, Liz just fell asleep again. And, like, I don't blame her for that. She probably woke up in a daze, like, what's happening? Okay, you're, you got, okay. Because I've done that, Back and I, I understand that, yes. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, it's nice because, I mean, going into the scene, it, there was just some, like, I mean, the simplest way to describe it was really weird breathing. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? But it was, it was nice just because we've gotten that kind of, like, 
Ben is that like big supporter of everyone and just wants everyone to enjoy everything. So to see how him are, getting hmm. supported. How are you liking Ben? Because it, it's been a it's been several, not seven, but several moments since you've been here, Jack. What are you thinking about about Ben? Because I know my opinion has shifted a little bit, and I'm really liking Ben now. I am really liking Ben. He's someone that is playing the game, but is also just like being a good person and is like yeah. making the game fun. Yeah. And I mean, after uh, how we've kind of had the season go where it's been like, yeah, uh, people are at each other's throats pretty much constantly. It is nice to have Ben in the corner like, right. yeah, everyone's good. Yeah. Right. Uh yeah, I I I was skeptical about Ben at first going into the season. And after several episodes, I've been, you know, converted onto the Ben train. I'm really liking him. I think he's he's a lovely, lovely person. And I love this moment. I honestly I'm gonna save pin in this thought. I'm bringing it pin, up later. Go on. Yes. Um, but we very quickly go into the immunity challenge because obviously, as per tradition now in the new era, we are doing yeah. a double tribal council at 12. We're splitting the group into six and six, two tribal councils, two uh, eliminations. Um, but... The person that holds on on our uh, famous and infamous triangle block in the middle of the ocean challenge Um the person who stays on the longest out of everybody not only wins immunity, wins reward for their tribe, which is coffee and tea, some sandwiches. It looked Gorgina. Oh, so good. That's the kind of reward food that I would want to have on Survivor. Because, like, think about it. You've eaten almost nothing in two weeks. Like, the last thing I would want is, like, rich, fatty foods. Like, I would want some, like, gorgeous fruit, some gorgeous sandwiches. Like, that's what I want. Light stuff that won't kill you on the way out. That won't absolutely destroy your stomach. I don't want red wine and ribs. Give me that at Ponderosa after I win. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's why I'm always confused why they give them pizza at the um, the reunion now. Because I'm like, if I just ate nothing for 20... Well, to be fair, they would have had breakfast that morning, too. Yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, then, you know what? That's a little bit better. I can see yeah, that. That's yeah. That's a little bit better, because I, I forgot about that. But it's like, I wouldn't want pizza to be my first meal after 26 days. Pizza uh, and, and champagne, though? good pizza. Mm. Uh, oh, realistically, no. that is, like, the tier above Frozen. I've heard it's really good pizza. They might also just have the right pizza recipe, because they have an Italian or someone from New Jersey or New York. Or they've perfected it over 46 seasons. Or they perfected it over 46 right. seasons. Right, like, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, so we get our groups divided up. Uh, we have one group with Soda, Liz, Maria, Charlie, Venus, and Tevin. And we get the other group with Tiffany, Kenzie, Q, Hunter, Tim, and Ben. A.K.A. Uh, the same, basically, groups as Mergatory, but you, you move Tevin to the other side, and you add Tiffany. Otherwise, it's literally the same groups. And I'm like, in what universe, in a random draw... Yeah. Do all three Yanu end up on the same side again? Mind you, I know that in Mergatory, Tiffany chose that side, but still, it's like, what are the odds that these people get drawn into basically the same groups in two back-to-back -back challenges? Yeah, the odds of that happening, at least statistically, are low. Mm. Like, to the point that it's a little too close to call. Like tens or hundreds of thousands is probably statistically what I'm thinking. Yeah, I think it it's probably close to some power of two. Uh yeah. which uh two to the twelve uh 
8 times 8 times 8 times 8, 64 times 64. I have no idea on the math beyond that, but it's probably something around 1 to the 64 squared. Um, something like but, that. Yeah, so probably like 1 in like 10, uh, like tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. Like it's a, yeah. it's a pretty... <clears throat> It's a pretty rare occurrence. Um, I do love that they that Jeff brought up um, the last time that this challenge was ran because I completely forgot about the absolute disaster of planning that the producers went through when they ran this challenge in 42. Yeah, what was it 40? Yeah, it was 42. It was 42 uh, because it was 42 at this exact same junction. Because we see uh in a very, very quick clip show, like five people eat shit within and, a couple seconds. And, and that challenge, I think, is one of, if not, it might set the record for shortest merge immunity challenge of all time. Because it literally yeah. lasted three minutes. I think we did have some... No, I'm thinking of Big Brother Canada. Ignore you it. You are thinking of Big Brother Canada, because I know exactly what challenge you're thinking about. Um, honestly, <laughs> I still this... can't believe that shit happened. Anyway. We'll talk about it. I was also thinking about BB7, because BB7 has a short challenge, too. Oh, yeah. At final three. Final, yeah. Part one of the final three HOH. Where um, it literally ends before they go to break, because there's a yep. giant fuck-up. But, Thanks, Janelle. Yeah, I mean, anyway. Um, yeah, this challenge is pretty low key. The only really things to talk about in this challenge is that Q tries to play the alphabet game, and no one gets it. Okay. And I got it, Q. I understood it. Charlie got it at the end, but then intentionally fucked it up. And I <laughs> love Charlie for this. I was like, you better get him, Charlie. Put him in his place, Charlie. Yeah. Um. And then we have uh, Tim ask Jeff what was up. Uh, and Jeff very quickly learns what black lingo is. Uh, because I loved this. This is why we have a 50% POC requirement now on these shows. And I love these segments where it's like, yes, I'm so excited to, you know, I'm so excited to talk about how much diversity there is in in this merge and in this season and all of that. But it's these moments where <laughs> Q and Tim <laughs> are just teaching uh, teaching Jeff about black lingo the whole time. And then later, um, when Q was talking and Tim goes, "Didn't your mama say if you didn't have if you weren't part of the fight to shut up?" loved it so good uh, simple was, callbacks amazing i loved it like these two i wish they had you know not fought yeah uh and then we also get two fun <sighs> mentions uh mention we get two different uses of several here uh first we get you have uh in honor of jolinski you have been up several minutes several minutes and uh, when Tim asks for the time again, uh, we are several minutes several. to 30 minutes. We are several, several minutes, minutes away from 30, 30 minutes. minutes. I loved it. Uh, Jeff, and, uh, Jeff even said, this is the most fun I've had in a while at an immunity challenge. And it showed. Okay. It showed for sure. Um, so the orange group, I think, which is the one with... Uh, the men and Kenzie and Tiffany. Yeah. Um, they end up all falling first, which means that the other group ends up getting the, re getting the reward. But our two immunity winners end up being Kenzie and Maria. That thrilled. Is, thrilled. That is what happened because I was trying to remember what the fuck happened. Uh, yeah, so, so so most people made it to the point where they had to lift up one leg, and that's when everyone started dropping like flies. So it came down to Kenzie and Tiffany, and Maria and Tevin, and then um, Tiffany drops Ken. Like they're Tiffany and Kenzie are both like 
wobbling. Kenzie's able to hold on for a little bit longer, still drops. And then you get a showdown between Maria and Tevin. I love Tevin in this, like, like slapping his leg, like, come on, leg. <laughs> I don't know why. Just like, come on, leg. <laughs> I love Tevin. I love Tevin so much. I just, oh, <sighs> it's so good. But Kenzie and Maria end up being our winners. Maria gets very emotional. Um, Also loving Maria. Yeah. Loving Maria. And I've loved Maria since the start of the season. Um, Very thrilled. Love. Love me some Maria. That's why I drafted her. I think I have. My team might only be three people. I might have lost three people in uh, the pre-merge. But I think I have three people with some of the best shots of winning this season. Yeah. Who do you have? I have, to make I have, right now, I have Charlie, Maria, and Tiffany. Fuck off. Oh my God. But I also had uh, Banu, Jem, and um, who else did I have? I don't remember. I just know I have three left. I didn't have Jelinski or Jess, I don't think. Who did else? you have Tim? No. Uh, I, oh, um, I think... Mm, I don't remember who I had. I'll Randon? look at it. Anyway. Yeah, I had Randon. Randon I had Randon. I had Randon. That's who I had. Um, So I literally, like, like, all my people went out back, back, back. But, like, I have a pretty good shot at still winning the draft. So I'm very excited. Yeah. But um, we know that the reward losing group is going to go back to the old Sega Beach. And... Um, we get the winning reward group getting their reward. Um, do you want to talk about the orange group first or the purple group first? Because both are like very all over the place kinds of conversations. I feel like we should start with orange just because uh, I I don't know. I'm trying to decide which one is simpler of the two, but neither are really Neither simple. of them are. I, I can tell you neither of them are. Let's start with Orange. Yeah. So, Q is claiming that he jumped off on purpose in the immunity challenge. Uh-huh. I don't believe that. I'm going to be real honest with you. I don't believe that. I would need but, to really rewatch it to see if there's a chance that he could jump off or if he was like, he probably had 30 seconds left and was going to jump off anyway mm-hmm. uh, or was going to fall anyway. But yeah. Um, yeah. The conversation strange here. Claim. Yeah. Strange claim. The conversation here is between Tim and Q um, where Tim is all ready to turn on the six. And wants to vote out Hunter. And Q, because he's the challenge threat. And Q is not threatened by Hunter. Yeah. I mean, it's strange. You could vote Hunter out now when you've seen that he's fucking killing it in challenges. And he's very close to four other people on the other side of the beach. Or you can vote out Ben. Who I mean is a harm to no one's game. Really, honestly, and I think that is what's going to aid Ben in the game, is that no one's going to be looking at him in the next couple of votes. And I think as the challenge threats start to go down, I think honestly, because Ben didn't perform horribly in this challenge at all. He fell off in the like domino effect of a bunch of people falling off at the very end, but like he did pretty well in this challenge. So like, I'm going to put a pin in that, come back to that later. Um, Q is worried now that Nami is going to control everything. Or yeah, Tim, Tim is concerned about Nami Q is worried about Tim now because he's literally just trying to deflect off of anyone that's not Sika. Yeah, I mean, Tim has consistently kept this like kind of mindset of, oh, I can just decide later which group I really want to go with when 
you kind of have to decide right now and you not deciding right now is making all of your allies on one side who has the majority in this yep. moment really really pissed at you yeah uh but i mean i don't end up minding the result but uh i mean we have from that plus one alliance we have hunter we have tiff we have q and we have tim have. which so like, they could have easily taken the majority ben. brought in kenzie and voted out ben and kenzie wouldn't have a reason to be suspicious because it's just hunter and tiff going yeah, no, we are, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Tiff and Q, Q looking over and being like, we, we need to have weaken the Nami. Yeah. yeah, we need to weaken Nami, come up with some sort of excuse, like, whatever, do whatever. But Tiffany's also not really having this narrative about voting out Hunter either. Um, so the Yanu three are thinking about tim being a little like a little bit shady tip is also suggesting ben is a stronger competitor and like could bring in this element of chaos that tiff is really not trying to have in her game cut to q going back and forth and back and forth about who to vote out and tiff getting concerned about q Which Q has actively decided somehow to take Tim's spirit and be like, yeah, no, I'm not going to decide. And I'm just going to flip back and forth. Uh, and I mean, Kip and Kenzie are fucking sick of it. Well, because like, Q, Q will have a conversation with Tim and then immediately be like, we need to vote Ben out. And then Q will go have a conversation with Ben, which we see happen. And then mm -hmm. Q goes back to them being like, we need to vote out Tim. And Tiff and Kenzie are like, what are you doing? Like, he, what is uh, happening here? He quite literally just parrots the last thing he's heard. Uh, and, I mean, it could work for Tiff and Kenzie, but they also say, like, hey, yeah, if we go to Tribal and we and the plan is suddenly changed in your mind, how the fuck are we going to know? We're not mind Literally. Readers. Unless you're and, scrambling at tribal, which always yeah. looks a little sus. <sighs> so that's where we leave that tribe. We go <laughs> to the mess of the other group where the only people that can receive votes are the four NAMI members and Charlie. And so Charlie is concerned about you know hi i on paper i'm Should screwed going home. unbeknownst to charlie <laughs> every single person on nami wants to take out another person from nami they haven't been a tribal and you can fucking tell <laughs> So Soda wants to take out Venus. We'll talk about Venus here in a second, because good lord, oh. that baby, I, I just feel so bad. I love her, but God. Um, Soda is telling Tevin that she's got Charlie locked in. So Tevin goes to Liz. With the option of, well, what if we vote out Soda? And this is the moment I was like, oh, we're turning on Soda this early? Uh... I honestly, in my heart of hearts, I believe that Tevin going after Soda is strictly because, it, I, I think it's timely, but I think it was mostly spurred by the fact that they were in the second group and the, and Tevin knew that whoever got voted out here would go to jury. I think if they were in the opposite scenario, I they honestly think they take out Charlie. I, yeah. I, I honestly think they vote out Charlie. 
or they say, "Fuck it, we're not giving him Venus anymore." Exactly. That like I, I could see an argument for them taking out Soda here too, but I feel like Tevin wanted to do this to have this on his resume for later to be like, "Oh no, I've been working the whole game. I was working with Soda. Realized she was a big threat. Needed to take her out first in the jury." Yeah. And I'm not mad at it. Liz is down for this plan. Maria is down to get Soda out. Where they, because the whole thing is they know what kind of game Venus is playing. They don't know what kind of game Soda is playing. So they're really, really worried about Soda. Venus. Oh, Lord. Baby Jesus, Venus. I feel so bad for this, this girl. Because we literally get a shot of her in the camp going, I don't like being left out of conversations. So she goes to Maria. To talk about either voting out Soda or Venus. And then goes to Charlie. And is like, option one, we take out Soda. Option two, <laughs> me, you, him. and Maria vote out Tevin. And immediately, like, you had a good pitch, and then you fucked yourself. It was bad. Uh, literally the one name that she should not have said. If she said, prob- I mean, there wasn't many names to say. but She could have said Liz, name. and it would have been fine. Yeah, I mean, everyone would have been like, why? Why? But like, you just don't say Tevin, and you said Tevin. Uh, and I and mean, it, it's so. I think it's right. It's the. It I, is right for her to say, but it, not to oh, them. Oh, oh, a hundred percent. Tevin is the right name for Venus to be saying right now. Not to them. Literally, they have to try and tie it to do that, and it doesn't. It doesn't work out. Well, no. I don't think so. I actually think this is a genius plan, and I kind of wish that maybe they had listened to Venus. I wouldn't have liked to see Tevin go out this early, though, I'll be honest. But think about this scenario, though. Because we know Soda at this point is voting for Venus. Tevin and Liz at this point are voting for Soda. If Venus, Charlie, and Maria vote out Tevin, it's 3-2-1 by Tevin. Oh, That's why God. Venus brought it up. It's so smart, and I wish people were listening to Venus, but they're not. I didn't Venus even realize a, that. Venus is a very good strategic player. She <laughs> just can't get enough social capital to have people listen to her. But she, we've seen Venus be a very good strategic player. That's why she paired up with Randon. That she had enough social capital with Randon for Randon to trust her to tell her about his uh, beware advantage. And like no one else trusted her. No one else trusted her. She has such a good strategic mind for Survivor. And I hope, because I don't see her making it past the next couple of tribals. I don't. I see her going early. Murder. And and in my three-person draft right now, do you want to know who I, who I have in my three-person draft that I'm doing, Jack? I had Mariah, I had Soda, and I'm currently just stuck with Venus. Yeah. At least you got some good points during the pre-merge. No, you didn't, because none of them were on any relevant tribes. I was getting, well, I was getting wins between the three of them, because Yanu kept losing, so. Yeah, I guess. Um. It's so bad to the point that Maria has to mom her and just straight up tells her, I was very put off by the way you came at me. And Venus is not receiving it well because I keep forgetting Venus is 20. I keep forgetting she's 20. And then I'm like, oh, everything makes complete sense. Like the story checks out. Everything makes sense. I'm like, oh God. It's so bad because this is exactly how i okay played continue to play uh i'm very much just kind of brash bullshit 
Uh, so I see all the things that Venus is doing, and I'm like, yes, yes, you don't have social. You don't. Oh, God. Social. Uh, social. Social. Um, so it, we ultimately leave this tribe before tribal with Charlie and Maria being the swing between voting out Soda and voting out Venus. And I was like, great, I lose another draft member in that draft. <laughs> Smile. Um, we go to the first of our double tribals, and it's a very emotional situation. Um, obviously, the Yanu three are in control because they have the majority. Um, Tim is trying to say that, you know, Hunter carried the Nami group. Um and dominated all the challenges. Hunter is countering that Nami doesn't even get along really well, and Sega's very, very close. And we get a very emotional conversation with Ben, talking about the personal aspect of the game. Um, and Kenzie gets upset, and re we bring up the, you know, what happened at the camp with the panic attack. And then Q, for some reason, wants to acknowledge that Kenzie won immunity. I was so confused by this. Yeah, I don't, like, it's like, yeah, she did this really nice thing. Also, she won immunity? Look at her now? It's like, what? She's the smallest person on the tribe and she won immunity. Yeah, because the challenge was balance. She probably weighs about 110 pounds soaking wet, and she's probably like 5'5". Five, five. I understand why she won the balance on a platform in the middle of the ocean challenge, Q. Still a mystery. Anyway. anyway. Um, in the first of our four to two votes on this occasion... Uh, the Yanu three decided that it was time to take out Tim. Eh. I didn't, I mean, I'll be honest. Tim played a very, very, very passive game throughout the entire game. And that's why he went out. All he had to do was agree to a plan that he had already agreed to. And he survives yep. the vote. It yep. is quite literally that simple. And him not wanting to commit took him out. So I don't. Like why even make the plus one alliance then? Like he it really doesn't to, make sense. But it doesn't make sense to me. If you're not going to follow through with it, then what the hell? Yeah. I don't know. But we go to the second tribal. Where obviously the 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 ploy is Charlie's like, oh my god, I'm the only other vulnerable person. Oh my god. Uh, this uh, whole like the actual tribal of it all before the vote is very like blah. Like nothing really happens. Venus is worried. Charlie teases his shot in the dark. And then we go to the vote. And we get, I was going to say one of the most shocking blindsides in a while, but honestly, the Kelly vote last season was a big blindside too. Um, blindsided four to two, Soda gets voted out. And she kind of, she honestly has the reaction that I would probably have if I was blindsided. Just like, oh, Wow. Okay. And Soda immediately goes. This moment, iconic. Soda turns to Venus and goes, it was you, yeah. wasn't it? And Venus is like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was me, girl. And Tevin, straight to camera. No. I lived! <laughs> I love Tevin! Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. And 
the the funny thing about this whole moment is, I mean, it should have been five one, right? Like, the, the, well, potentially, we it, find it, out in the voting sequence at the end that the four two. I thought the second vote for Venus was from Liz. That's where I thought it came from. No, it came from Tevin. Which. So Tevin set up the blind side, but then also didn't... I'm curious. I feel like this vote out from Tevin was was based on the potential that maybe it wasn't going to flip that way. And just in case Soda stayed, Tevin could be like, oh, well, I voted with you. So... You might have gotten votes, but I voted with you. So, and also in the potential of a 3-3, Tevin can then switch his vote. So, it didn't make sense at first. As I've kept thinking about it. It does make a very smart, it's a very smart move. And I love how smart Tevin is. I love how smart Tevin is. This also assumes that this that was the intent from Tevin, uh, which I I hope that it is. I hope that next I'm episode curious. we get we yep. get a whole explanation because it's like four two. We were all in on that plan, and we get Tevin explaining it. Uh, if we don't, I hope we get that. It's going to be probably the one thing brought up in all of his exit uh, exit interviews of like, right? Why the fuck didn't you do that? But you yeah. Know. I was sad to see Soda go because she, I found her so entertaining. Um, but it's one of those blind sides that I'm like, oh, I didn't want to see you go, but oh, that was satisfying. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. But uh, next episode, Q's going on a rampage and Hunter is hiding in a tree. Yeah, no. <laughs> one of the most actively confusing uh Next time, just everyone so be like, where so the he fuck set up is his own spy shack in a tree, and and her just like just fully in a tree, like what? very high up in a tree. I'm like, oh my god, oh um, my god. But okay, circling back, I'm I'm taking the pins out. Circling back, we're at top ten. We are in jury. Jack, I want to know, who are you predicting for Final Tribal Council? Right now, my gut says, as a zero-vote finalist, Mm -hmm. I see Liz getting dragged to the end if she doesn't get knocked out. Because what has Liz done except talk about how she has money? Like genuinely, what has she done? Not much. Uh, she uh, and and we talked about this uh before we started. Uh, we checked yeah. the confessional count. Um, Liz has in the past four episodes gotten four confessionals. Yeah. Just four. She's currently the most under edited and i think that is the most fair under edit i've seen in a while because honestly unless, yeah unless there's some master manipulation that's going on i think it's very accurate is she playing survivor like that's what i want to know i don't I know feel she like is. i feel like of all of the people in the game she is there to promote her own business oh yeah like if i had to say someone out of everyone that is like just there to be someone of the several people that are left in the game like liz is the most non-factor person yeah and i either see her getting taken out because oh she's a number for someone else and we need a backup plan or i see her making it to the end and being like what did you do see i nothing I understand that. I definitely see a a universe where Liz is a zero vote finalist. I feel like Liz is going to go out as collateral damage from Hunter or Tiffany playing their idols. I can see that. I could see like a a potential like Nami split where they split on Hunter and Liz. 
Hunter uses his idol, and then Liz goes home with, like, two or three votes. Like, that's the universe I'm seeing Liz in currently. Yeah. Um, okay, Where zero vote like finalist, the... Liz. Uh, I can see Maria and Charlie as the oh, final three if they okay. play things right. However, okay. I can see in place of Charlie either Tiffany or Kenzie. Okay, okay. We've got similar theories. There are several options, obviously. I, for me right now, and I don't know spoilers. Sometimes I spoil I myself on Survivor. I usually don't. I have not spoiled myself on this season because I'm really enjoying it. So I don't yeah. want to know. Uh, my final three prediction right now is going to be Kenzie, Ben, and Charlie. I can definitely see that. I see, and I see, I'm even going to go as far as to say, I think fourth is going to be Maria, and I think fifth is going to be Tevin. Because okay, as we've feel. seen, it, as we've seen in the new era, one of the big strategic players gets voted out at fifth because they can't take them to fire making because they're going to probably win the last immunity or something along those lines. I see Tevin being that person that goes out at fifth. I could also see Hunter as that person. But I honestly see Hunter going out the moment he doesn't win immunity and he doesn't have an idol. So unless they take him out in one of the next couple tribals, he's set. He's going to final tribal, which is also a scenario I could see happening. But I see Tevin going out fifth. I see uh, Ken one of Kenzie or Ben winning the final immunity challenge taking the other one and forcing Charlie and Maria to make fire. Which then Maria wins. Yes. And then she uh, goes on Maybe. I see maybe like an underdog edit for Charlie. Like Maria yeah. may not, may just not have some good coconut husk. Because Charlie knows how to fire. Charlie knows how to fire pretty well from what I remember. Um, I could see Charlie squeaking out a win over Maria. I could also see Maria making it. I think in a Kenzie Ben Charlie scenario, I think Kenzie wins very easily. In yeah. a Kenzie Ben Maria situation, which I think is actually the scenario I might want a little bit more. Um I think that's a very close vote between the two of them to the point where I honestly think it could be 4-4 and Ben has to break the tie. And then Ben has to pick between his OG tribe member and his new best friend. Oh, wow. I, oh, I just wrote this narrative. Oh, I, I hope that happens. Oh, oh, that would be good. Oh, I hope that happens. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, God. I, oh. Yeah, no, that's how the season has to end. Now. Oh, I hope it is. And again, I'm truly, genuinely not spoiled. So if that is actually how this ends, screaming, crying, throwing up. But I think that makes the most sense narratively at this point. Yeah. Like, I think Q is going to combust here soon. I, I, think I see one, him going out one one or the next two episodes. I see Hunter I, I, going out absolutely. two to Hunter three goes episodes. out. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. I think Tiff goes six. At this point, because I think they're going to end up realizing that Tiffany is a big threat. They're going to take her and Tevin out back to back. Um, they're going to blindside Kenzie with a Tiff vote. And then they're going to blindside. Well, at that point, Tevin would be the only Nami left. They would have to take out Tevin. And then it's two duos going into final four. Yay. I love narratives. So that's what I, that's, a, but I also could see a scenario, honestly, my alternate scenario, hear me out here. My alternate scenario is that the Yanu three make the final tribal. The amount of dysfunction that would be. The would amount, be it would be, it would honestly be Survivor 44 levels of chaos. Except for all of the wrong reasons. Like they, they have not been a unit. The uh, chaos, I mean, the chaos purple tribe, making it to final four. 
versus I mean, Maria. Can we get a replay of Survivor 44? Oh my God. Uh, Could you imagine a, a replay? Yanu 3 and Maria in the final four. Maria wins final immunity, takes probably Kenzie. Tiff beats Q in fire making, all women final three. I'm fine with either of those scenarios. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But all right, y'all, let us know in the comments below what 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 which one of these scenar several scenarios um are you the most excited about? Who do you think is gonna be your final three now that we are headed into the back half of this game? We've got, I think, exactly several episodes left yeah, of the season. I think this uh yeah it's it's either okay. six or several uh i believe this the several episode is the midpoint of the season because i think I it's think 13 is at 13, 13 or 14 episodes we go seasons. we go uh into do we go into this with five yeah we go into it with five uh we go into the finale with five people yes so so yeah no the math works per, out per. Awesome. Well, now that we're heading into the back half of the season, let us know down in the comments below. Who do you think is making Final Tribal? Who do you think is winning? Which of our several scenarios uh, are you the most excited about? Um, and we want to thank you very much for watching this episode. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share on the way out because it does actually mean a whole lot to us. And it's free. Hello. Um, also, fun uh, drinking game. Go back, rewatch this episode, and drink every time one of us said several. And we get the double watch time. Thank so. you very much for that. Um, if you want to support us in a monetary fashion, which is not required, but we do greatly appreciate it, you can go hit the join button over on our main channel to join the tea room, or you can head over to Patreon, same content, different platform. You can also go leave a super thanks on any of our main channel videos. Um, all of that support means the world and all that money goes right back into making this podcast better for you all. And we do greatly appreciate it. Um, you can also down in the description below will be all of our links to all of our other channels and our membership channel, as well as our social media at the cup pod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Uh, you could also find links to follow Jack and I on social media, and you could also get your merch, including but not limited to cup mug down below as well, as well. With all that said, we've got several other things to do today. So we're going to get out of here. Cheers. Cheers. To episode uh, several. To episode several. I think that was, <laughs> I, I, I want to say that might have actually been the several time we said several. Oh, no, 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 no. I probably said several about 30 times in this episode. Intentionally and unintentionally, for sure.